All right, so here's the tutorial on how to do the uh, Day of the Dead candle holder. You can actually do this with a lot of things, but this is probably the simplest thing to do. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get the Day of the Dead image. I actually went ahead and chose the original image that I used to make the actual candle holder. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to save this image. Uh, and then I'm going to go ahead and crop it because it's got a little shutter shock thing at the bottom. So I'm going to save it. Once it's saved, I'll go ahead and open it up and edit it and crop it. Little boom boom there. That was easy. Save a copy. All right, close that out. Delete the original. All right, open up Inkscape. And what we're doing here is we are gonna make it an SVG file. So the whole key of this is making an SVG. Fusion 360 allows you to bring in an SVG uh, but not a lot of other things so we're gonna go ahead and increase the size of it and then I'm gonna go up and uh, edit the bitmap trace so we're gonna scroll down trace bitmap copy these settings just hit OK then next we're going to drag the bitmap trace delete the original Bring back the bitmap trace, and we're going to save it as an SVG. Boom, SVG. Change the name. Now this is going to give us our workable sketch that we can bring into Fusion. So that's done. Close it out. Move that there so we know where it's at. Delete the original. And let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to uh, make a component. I always name my component. And this is going to be the tutorial. Now we're going to construct the actual uh, candle holder itself without the image. So we're going to go to uh, make a circle. And I'm going to make this 100 millimeter, I believe. And then we're going to take it up to 125. I'll speed this up in the video wherever I can, guys. Uh, next, we're going to use the shell function, and I want my walls to be four millimeters. All right. Now we're going to go ahead and put a radius on this corner, make it six millimeters. Boom. Now we're ready to get our image in. Uh, we're going to make the platform that we're going to put our sketch on. So the first thing we'll do is make a sketch of a box. Don't do what I just did and make an actual box. You're going to want to make a sketch, not a box. Make a sketch of a rectangle right in front, kind of like I'm doing here with the box, but don't do it with the box. And you're going to extrude the sketch of the rectangle up, just like this. Now we're going to bring in the SVG that we made earlier. Okay, pick the file. All right, it takes a second to import, but once it does, you'll see it. And 
And now we're going to go ahead and align it and resize it. All right, now comes the fun part. We got to click all these things. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is speed this up. But while I'm doing this, I want to talk to you guys about what's going on with this little uh, faceplate that I made so we can extrude it into the candle. I made it a box. You don't want to make it a box. You want to use a sketch make a rectangle in front of the candle holder and extrude that vertical. Um, the reason being is you're not going to be able to delete the uh, box. So once I'm done clicking all these holes and I extrude, I want that box to go away. Well, I didn't do that with this one. So after I'm done doing everything. I will go ahead and show you exactly how to delete the box when you make it a sketch. All right, next we're going to go ahead and extrude this from everything we selected. And we're pretty much done. I'll show you how to delete that uh, sketch. All right, so that's basically how you get it done. The only thing I didn't do was make my box a sketch, so I wasn't able to delete it. So I actually pulled up uh, my original, and I, all you do, you literally select the sketch of the box, and you delete it. Now, when you delete this, it will... Uh, you're also going to want to get rid of the uh, extrude of the box that you sketched. So here's the extrude. Delete the extrude. All right. That should go away. Okay. There you go. Now your extrude from the face will still be there. However, that box will not. And that's it. That's how you do it.